Hey everyone, we're here at the range. We're gonna do a quick video about some of the safety precautions that you should take to make sure that your day shooting is the best that it can be. There's some basic safety issues that we start with your personal safety of your eyes and your ears. Eye protection. You'll see that Matthew has shooting glasses on. I've got a pair of custom shooting glasses. Matthew right now is wearing these orange foam ear protection. They're like the basic minimum. We always carry extra so that if someone is here and forgot theirs, we've got extra. Matthew then has a pair of just their, you can see there, they don't have the, any of the electronic uh, hearing protection in it, but if you want to double up, you can put the foam in and then put those on and show people. Yeah, so the, the earplugs will work with the earmuffs and now I don't hear a whole lot. I'll hear a little <laughs> kind of muffled. Uh, and, uh, and shot what from you'll the guns, see that I, I can't really see hear what he's saying right now. <laughs> I know he's talking because I can see this. I think this is how he hears on his normal life. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It's hard to get his attention sometimes. So and then here's the highest level. You'll see I have a set of electronic ones, and there's a battery in here. When you hear it, blocks out certain sounds that exceed X number of decibels. So the beauty of it is I can hear regular conversation, but when it's a loud shot, it blocks it. These are more expensive, so there's the whole gamut of hearing protection. Then you have, like we said, eye protection. And I would suggest never shoot without some sort of eye protection. People are like, well, why do I need that? Well, you might have too hot of a round. You might have an obstruction in your barrel. You might have just powder blast coming out of the action. Or the, uh, a lot of times if you go shotgun shooting, you ever look at how your, your forearm hand has a lot of powder dust on there? There are just all kinds of things that can happen. You only have one set of eyes, one set of ears. Take care of your ears better than I did take care of your eyes with safety yeah. glasses. Furthermore, um, a lot of ranges will require some form of eye protection and some form of ear protection. Right. So, exactly. Some, some will recommend it, some require it. And now that we've talked about just our personal protection safety, there are some absolute basic safety rules that every range I've ever been to has. The, it almost looks like the Ten Commandments of gun safety. And those of you who've been through that, you know what they are. And if you haven't been through it, go online and research. Our range here has the range rules online. You can read them. The other part is you'll see that the very first part of our range rules are all safety rules. And then it goes into etiquette and behavior rules. So safety rules are going to be how you handle your firearm when you are here at the range. One of the f very first most important rules is always make sure that the gun is unloaded until you're at the firing line. So as you can see here, we have the bolt open, we have nothing in the magazine, this rifle is completely safe, and we'll make sure that it remains this way until we're at the firing line ready to shoot. Some people will even remove the bolt from the gun completely, just as added kind of assurance that nothing is going to go off with this gun. So the other part of gun safety is always make sure your firearm is pointed in a safe direction. If it is not in one of the racks, which is the safest place because it's pointed up, then make sure that when you are on the line and the line is hot, that you always have your firearm pointed downrange. Because if the line is hot, everybody knows not to be downrange. That is a safe place. When the line gets closed or, or made cold, take your firearm off your shooting rest and bring it back to the rack, making sure the bolt's open the whole time. Never have your firearm pointed downrange when there are people downrange. It kind of gets back to what you probably learned in firearm safety or hunter education. Always make sure your firearm is pointed in a safe direction treat every firearm as if it's loaded. Even though we're showing the world this firearm is not loaded, you still treat it as if it is loaded. But for whatever reason, people have a tendency to come to the range, they maybe get in a hurry, they're more focused on where their groups are going, and some of the safety protocols start being missed. There's no safety protocol worth shortcutting. So.
What do you say we sit at the, at the bench and talk about some of the safety issues there of how we make sure we're not going to have any type of problem once we start shooting? Yeah, sounds good. So what you see here is Matthew is sitting here with the rifle in the ready position. We've got the range cleared for this purpose, so don't worry, there's nobody downrange. But one of the things we do with every firearm before we start shooting here at the range, we pull the bolt, which Matthew will do, and there's all kinds of devices. You might bring your regular cleaning rod. Uh, I use this, uh, it's by Otis Technology, it's called the Mongoose. We will just run it down there one time. It does not take much debris in one of the lands or grooves of your rifle to create higher pressures than you want. And those pressures will come back this way. So the very first thing we'll do with every rifle when we come to the range is run one quick swab just down there to make sure there's no debris from whatever. It might have been from hunting season last year. It might have been from something you didn't even know. Do not have an obstructed barrel. Obstructed barrels are dangerous. So one of the other things that you will see is that we are out here, we have three rifles with us today. That means three different calibers and cartridges. 300 Win Mag, a 308, and a 6.5 Creedmoor. Matthew is sitting at the 300 Win Mag. When we are doing this, the only ammunition we will have at the bench is the 300 Win Mag. Sometimes you can have cartridges that are very close together, say a 308 and a .30-06, or a 308, 7mm, 08. So be very careful that if, if you feel anything in your bolt when you're moving that forward that feels, man, that's pretty tight, check and make sure. So when we get ready for Matthew to shoot this, we are only gonna have 300 Win Mag ammo at this bench. Everything else is gonna be back here. So one other thing that happens sometimes at ranges, and it's a good way to get yourself removed from the firing line, is observing your targets safely. And by safely, what we don't want is using this scope as your spotting scope or binoculars. You don't do that in the field, you don't do it at the firing line. Yeah, sometimes with a high magnification scope, you're gonna be able to see your point of impact. But that's why Matthew has a 10 power binocular with him. And also over here, we have up to a 40 power spotting scope. I always use a spotting scope or a higher level binocular to observe where your groups are going. Do not get in the habit of using your scope as your spotter. So the last rule of safety is know your target and beyond. So every single one of the targets here at the gun range have a dirt backstop behind them. Having this dirt backstop ensures that you know what is going to happen to your bullet after you fire. You know it's going to go into the backstop and it's going to stay there. So with all these safety items we've just talked about, we did mention that if you see unsafe activity going on, you're at liberty to go and try to correct it. And I can't overemphasize that because that's for your safety, it's for the safety of others on the range. And a lot of times it's not somebody who's trying to act unsafe. A lot of times they just don't know some of these safety protocols or some of these etiquette items. So if you see unsafe activity, it's your ability, your responsibility. You have the authority to go and correct that unsafe activity. So go and shoot. Shoot often, shoot a lot, but be safe. Thanks for watching.